we're going to be using a new strategy called number line diagrams. I'm going to start off really, really simple just to model what it looks like. So here's our number line 0 through 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two loops to find the sum or the difference. So we're first we're going to say loop 4. We're going to start at 0 and we're going to loop 4 of them. Then it says loop 10 of them. So we're going to start at 0 and we're going to loop 10 of them, like so. Now it says to loop the difference and label it D. So here's our difference right here. So we're gonna create a loop there, and we're going to identify the difference. The difference will be from four plus an amount, totals the largest number, 10. And we can count up on that number line, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we know the number there is six. From there, we can think about all of math problems that we can create using this math mountain. So we're just identifying in a different way the relationships between holes and parts. Our part that was circled was four, our total, our hole was 10, and so we use that information to find out that the missing part that was unlooped was six. All right, so we're gonna use that same example, but use larger numbers. My number line is definitely not perfect, but you get the idea that our number line represents all the way to 30. All right, in different colors, and you can do the same. First, it says to loop 17. So here's 15, 16, 17. I actually like to work backwards. It's easier for me to make sure I'm doing it right. Okay. The next one says to then loop to 28. So here's 25, 26, 27, 28. And again, I'm going to work backwards so I can clearly see my circles. And now it says to loop the difference. So that's this part right here from here to the 28 and label that D to find the difference. All right, so how are we gonna figure out the difference between D? But the hole that we have circled is 28, and we know a part, which is 17, and then there's that difference. So here we can create another image of the math mountain. And from here, we know that if we have a whole and a part, we can find the difference by subtracting. So we have 28 minus 17. 8 minus 7 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Or we could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right? So that is how you will use this method called number line diagrams to help you solve. Let's do another example. All right, so now we have another example where it says for us to loop 67. So this one, it's a little hard because we have limited space and I can only write so small. So you can see I grouped it by tens all the way to 100 and the middle is 65 and there's a few dots to make 67. So there's 67, okay, and then it says add 26 so that's definitely a keyword that we would need so we're going to take this and go 26 more so i know that there's three more to make 70 okay and then i need 23 from there so i know i'm going to do three plus 20 5 10 15 20 and then three more to make the six. So three here, three here, and 20 in the middle. Now it says to loop the total and label it T. So that's from the beginning to the end and a big loop there, okay? All right, so what is this T, okay? So when we are thinking about the parts in the whole, we can organize it like this. Here's our total, a part, and a part. 
Okay, so we know one of the parts is 67, and we know one of the parts is 26 more. So then how do we figure out this right here? Well, we're going to add them together. It even helps us with those keywords, add in total. So 67, and you can see it on your number line, but since my number line is a little bit challenging, this also shows us the math. Seven and six, I know six and six is 12, because that's a double fact. I remember one more makes 13. Seven and six, regroup. I know six and two make eight, and one more makes nine, so 93. And sure enough, that's right where we are, because there is 94, there is 95, so right there is 93. So we did it correctly. All right, guys, so this is one strategy called number line diagrams to help you visualize adding, subtracting, finding the total or the difference.